my name is Isaac and this is Poem Tree Patch number eight. Today's poem is called How I Poetried and it'll be a little different format again. And it starts like this. Wrote words as a rap. NG52 troll toll trap. And right now I'm walking through NG or North Gardens, California. It's a apartment complex that I lived in and was the first place I really played with words like poetry, except I was writing lyrics for my friends' rap group. So right now I'm walking around. Some of y'all might know where I'm at. Coming up on Pinnerville. We got someone with a car problem right now, but I'll let them make some noise maybe. Yeah, there we go. I think they're done. So yeah, I'm coming up on Pinnerville, and I'll come up on the famed NG52. Pretty soon, but as you can see, Pinnerville, and then the basketball court where we wrote some lyrics as well. Um, but yeah, this was the first place I really wrote words to rhyme them and really got into poetic, artful writing. Um, so yeah, there it is. Let's see if we can get kind of close without annoying the current residents. What's this red? vehicle in front of it, so looks like people are in there. 52. But yeah, um, the next spot I'm going to um, is the campfire pit in Lower Bidwell Park, and I'll start the fast forwarding here pretty soon. All right. Take us through the middle part, but I guess basically I started really. Sorry, let me let this car go past. And yeah, I've got the uh, monkey tail going right now too. But this is the first place I really wrote rhymes and here comes the second part but you'll start hearing some music while we fast forward to the park Just can stop the greatest 
gives me creativity, ingenuity, and serenity. Yeet. Like a villain, give me the feeling I ain't concealing. Walking around the other day, wasn't busy, sad to say. Looked around down the street, glad to be able to use my feet. Sporting the hemp shoes on the beat, and you know I ain't eating meat. 2014, that's the year. 420, that's why I'm cheered. Because it's Easter, silly goose. Me and Jesus feeling loose Poetry readings at the park fire circle. Kept writing rhymes like an Izetta driving Urkel. And I'm here at the lower park campfire council circle, I believe is what it's called, according to the Chico Area Recreation District, but uh, I think it was like 2014 was when I was coming here um, after getting invited by some local friends to recite poetry. So we just sit in these here benches and then someone would usually stand there and read their own thing or other people's stuff. I think I read like Nine Inch Nails lyrics the first time, but this was where I first really did like actual poetry and not just lyrics writing. But I kind of talked about that before, how they're pretty similar and complement each other. Um, so yeah, I did poetry readings here, I don't know, maybe like for six months. And that's when I got plugged into some of the local poets and started doing my next poetry venture, which I'll talk about at my next stop, which is, I don't know what it's called nowadays, but um, we'll find out when we get there. It's downtown and it's a cafe, so it won't be as long of a walk, but yeah, I probably read my first poem that I wrote live here, so that's kind of a cool thing, and met and got to know some people who have been poet inspirations, so yeah, off to the next stop.
All right, it used to be called Cafe Flow, but now it's called Tender Loving Coffee or Cafe, and it's closed on the weekends. But this is where I started to help um, facilitate the One Day Poetry Club, which was a Facebook group and website where people could, uh, where people could submit a poem after getting a prompt one day prior so we'd release the one or one word or a phrase prompt and then give people I think 36 hours so it wasn't quite two days um, to submit their poetry and then we'd post all the poems on that Thursday both on the Facebook and on the website. I do not know if that's still going on. I'm guessing it isn't, but I haven't been on Facebook for months now, so um, yeah, it was a great um, poetry deal for people to get more involved. And here is the part of the poem that I wrote about this part of my current poetry history. Here we go. FB one day poetry prompt poeter, then took over as the poem word picker and prompter. And on to the next stop, which will be the former Chico Peace and Justice Center, which is now a board game store or something like that. Um, and I'll talk about how doing poetry on that website got me into doing poetry in prison, which I did another video on, but you can watch that later. All right, here we go. This should be really fast. All right, and now I'm at the old Chico Peace and Justice Center here, 526 Broadway, downtown Chico. There's the uh, old city plaza or the new city plaza getting redone again and this peace and harmony wall art was something that the peace and justice center was able to do with the landlord's permission um, and that one artist that does the um, that Andre wrestler guy picture hunter something I don't know uh, but yeah he helped design that but that's not what this video is about I started doing Alternatives to Violence Project there at the Peace and Justice Center when I was the board president and a Alternatives to Violence Project or AVP um, community outreach coordinator uh, came and kind of rented our office out and convinced me to head to prison with him to do that program. And then that was before I was really doing a lot of poetry, but then once I did a few months worth of the nonviolence 
stuff in prison. I um, decided to help start the poetry club, the Poetic Justice Club, at, at the High Desert State Prison in the Susanville area on Yard D, Delta Yard. And I did an, another video where I did a poem on that. But this here is the backyard. Used to be called the Peace Garden, but I don't think we're doing much back there, the Peace People anymore. Uh, but yeah, that was where I got into the prison poetry stuff. And this is the next part of the poem about my poetic history. Here we go. In High Desert helped start the Poetic Justice Club. Poetic dessert, though some called it Hug-a-Thug. So that's the, I think, third part of this poetic history poem. Next stop, I'm not quite sure. We'll find out though, and I'll talk about where I'm going with all this stuff. So, hope you enjoyed it so far. A fleeting moment, something about changing seasons, involving nature. All right. First, I was gonna go to the depot park, which is on the other side of the tracks, but I figured walking along the rail station would be kind of cool to walk along. But after I started with the help of my friend E in prison, um, the Poetic Justice Club in prison, the the campfire started and I lost my house in that. So that kind of put a bit of a damper on my life. So also my poetic ventures and my ability to really focus much. But after the fire, I was kind of bouncing around um, friends' houses, went down to Mexico twice, and got my um, temp job where I drive around Northern California. But basically for the last two years, starting last November, um, I basically put a wrap on the Prison Poetry Club and the Facebook One Day Poetry Club also, just because I couldn't really be there totally mentally and physically so um, yeah but time passes on and now I'm starting new stuff which I'll talk about in the next little clip but I guess I should say the next part of the poem now 
and here we go. But I kind of want to get a cool shot of this thingy. So there we go. All right. Then the fire put out FB Desire, Prison Poetry Club, Graduation, and Retired. So, yeah. Basically finished that all off. And really, my presence on Facebook personally. Um, I'll probably be on there again, but more as a distance thing. But I'll talk about that in a different video. Now I'll move on to our last stop of the poem. And that's basically talking about what I'm trying to do now. So thanks for listening and one more stop. Taking the night train dark through the Midwest. Look out the window and see a dark line. Above, the moon at the dark line's behest. To only fly seems deserving a fine. I feel like I've been away too long and not around long enough to everywhere. I feel like a constant acquaintance and not in on any inside joke. I feel temporary and not permanent in anything's time. I feel like an extra in a movie, only just a little part and more a part. Subbing brings back being the new kid almost every day of work. When the act of traveling feels at home. When you're not a settler, always on the roam. When it's weird to know people you walk by, wedding announcements, never invitations. It'd be sad but no one would be devastated. Maybe that'd be less stressful but so is being alone. All right. I am at YOLO Hall, which does not stand for you only live once. It's actually a, I believe it's a native word of one of the indigenous groups in California, but Yolo Hall is the uh, building that the Recreation Administration Department is here at Chico State and where I took most of my classes about how to have fun. But yeah, this part of the video is me talking about what I'm plenty to do poetry wise moving forward. So I talked about how I helped do the Facebook group thing and then I helped with the poetry prison club. And while I was doing the prison club, first we used Mary Oliver's book. Um, the first few sessions of the class, we'd read like one uh, chapter of her poetry handbook, but that wasn't the best way after a few classes um, to go about doing poetry in prison. So instead of using Mary Oliver's book, um, which I had already given them all a copy of it so they still had it but in the classroom setting I used um, that first and then I looked up like different poetry types and this author and poet on Writer's Digest named Robert Lee Brewer um, has an article which I'll also link below where at first he started with 50 different types where he had like a nice article on the mechanics of a bunch all these different poetry types and now that number is up to 168 i believe so um i used a few of those articles per poetry session in prison after using mary oliver's book 
and then so we were able to do maybe like 20 of those different types which help the guys inside you know do more than just rappy rhyme poets poems um, and you know build their and my also skills as both a poet and a teacher so um, because that was really helpful for both myself and I thought for um, the other folks in the class I think I'm going to and I'm pretty much definitely going to um, continue on with that so I'll start and probably go alphabetically through his list of 168 different types of poems and see if I can show both my writing process as well as reading it and maybe showing how I put stuff to music and video as well but I kind of want to show my process um, and hopefully have some friends who are also poets uh, chime in on a bunch of those episodes too and basically just try to grow my poetic skills and help others do it too so I can enjoy other people's poems besides myself. Um, shout out to Garrett Ash whose info I'll put down below too. A high school friend of mine who um, is an awesome poet too and um, he's an inspiration for some of this video. As I said, my rap friends in NG52, North Gardens 52, they're also inspir inspire inspirators or whatever. Um, and then all my prison friends and all my friends in Chico who um, were nice enough to listen to me at the beginning in the park and basically gave me the um, confidence to continue on. So, um, yeah, I hope this was fun and I guess I should say the last part of the poem now. So here we go. Now for the now how, while going forward without bow, Italian informal goodbye, ciao. Have a great one. And I'll probably put the full poem after this. Um, so it kind of goes together better and I hope you enjoy that too and I hope you enjoyed this and it gives you some insight into how I put words together all pretty like yeah so have a great one and see you later <sighs> wrote words as a rap NG52 Troll Toll Trap Poetry readings at the park fire circle Writing rhymes like an Izetta driving Urkel FB one day poetry prompt poeter Then took over as the poem word pick and prompter In high desert helped start the Poetic Justice Club Poetic dessert though some have called it hug a thug then the fire put out FB Desire, Prison Poetry Club graduation and retired. Now for the now how, then going forward without bow, Italian informal goodbye, ciao. Thanks for listening, subscribe, and have a great time, whatever time that is. Peace and justice. Yee.